Hey guys, John Bogo here from Fifox.com, uh, and I'm still here at the Nobras Riverine, uh, central part of Kenya. This place is dope, man. You guys should come check it out. This place is really good. The food is really good. Actually, just heading out for dinner right now, and uh, yeah, it's been an eventful Friday. You know, lots of swimming and stuff. Didn't really spend much time on the charts, apart from the morning just managing a few positions here and there, but, you know. So, there was this question that I always get from my students, you know, they always ask, does spending more time on the charts really guarantee you more profits? You know, what do you guys think, especially the traders who are watching this, like, do you think spending more time on the charts actually gives you better results than, you know, spending less time but i'll give you my two cents i remember when i started off trading um i used to trade from like 3 a.m in the morning you know and i used to think that maybe perhaps by spending more time on the charts maybe i would be making more money but it ended up being the, the opposite you know you spend so much time on the charts um probably like from 3 a.m. in the morning and you're thinking that if you wake up early, like the earlier the better. But you know, Forex doesn't work like that. Forex, you need to work smart. You don't need to work hard. So what ended up happening was along the way, I ended up realizing and actually just reading from quite a number of uh, traders out there, professional traders out there that is, I ended up realizing that these guys actually spend the least amount of time on the charts and make so much money, you know. You end up waking up so early in the morning, especially for the rookie traders, guys who are just getting into it. End up spending so much, so many hours only to get frustrated. You've done 30 trades in a day, but all you have to show for is $10 or maybe even losses. <laughs> Worst case scenario. But you find that with this professional traders, you know, this guy checks in, probably starts trading from like, um, I don't know, probably let's even say like an hour, but they're probably going to make tens of thousands of dollars. And you're just left there wondering, you know, why the hell is it that I end up spending so many hours and I have nothing to show for it. But this is the thing, when you come into FX, you know, you're really coming into it for the freedom, you know. And that's the bottom line. It's, it's the freedom that you're coming from. You know, it's not for for you to end up shifting from a normal 8 to 5 just to come and trade Forex and sit on your computer from 8 to 5 or from 3 a.m. in the morning <laughs> all the way until 5 p.m. in the evening. You know, and then your eyes are sore and you're tired from sitting and then all you have to show for is losses or, you know, really small amounts of profits and it gets frustrating that's not the purpose of effects man you know <laughs> less is more and there's this ongoing conversation of do um traders who trade intraday you know do they really make money and that's something that we can tackle in another video but you guys can feel free to also share that what do you think you know so it's, it's i would say less is more if you can end up spending least amount of time on the charts and still end up making or you know hitting your target the better you'll be more comfortable you'll have more time to do other things meet people travel you know do the things that you love do hobbies and stuff you know you won't be tied to your computer you don't leave your regular job to come join fx so that you can become a slave to your computer so that's the answer I would give to the people out there who would be wondering. And, you know, for those of you who are traders and you've tried it out, you know, like especially like trading from early morning all the way until evening, you know, how was your experience? You know, that was my experience. It was really bad, you know, and I ended up learning that less is more. So nowadays what I normally do is I only trade the London session from like 10 a.m. Kenyan time all the way until around one if i'm gonna be leaving trades i'm just gonna leave them you know i'm not gonna really be back on the charts and probably end up trading like three four hours in a day in fact even that's long sometimes even an hour at max set and go because ideally the approach that you need to have is set and go you don't need to sit there and interfere with your trades in fact you should actually <laughs> check out what 
Mitch has to say, I'm sure he'll have some interesting two cents about this topic. The only time I would actually suggest um, you to spend more time on the charts would be if ideally you're practicing on a strategy, backtesting. That's when you should ideally spend more time on the charts. But if you're ideally trading, you know, live trading, you shouldn't spend a lot of time on the charts. And let me even give you this, this, this analogy of athletes, you know, or footballers. Let's even say footballers and athletes. How much time do they spend practicing? These guys spend hours and years of practice. But performance time, like in a live match situation or in an actual race, actually takes like a matter of minutes. Think of Usain Bolt, you know, he's been practicing or he's like all his life, but the amount of time he actually ran, <laughs> Some people say it's less than two minutes, yet he has so many gold medals and awards to show for, you know, and records and stuff. You know, same thing with the footballers. You spend the whole week practicing for a match that you're going to play at the weekend, or over the weekend, you know. So if you're going to spend a lot of time on the charts, it better be testing and back testing and practicing your strategy and perfecting it. But when it comes to the actual trading, man you shouldn't spend a lot of time on the charts because it ends up affecting you psychologically you know unless it's more approaching forex will actually make you way more money okay all right guys so feel free to comment share blah 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 you know that stuff you know the drill by now write to me jambogu at afi-fx.com in case you wanna you know learn about anything or know about anything fx skills are more than willing to help you also visit www.afrifox.com as guys are more than happy to help you guys out so i guess i'm a good idiot so until the next video guys happy trading